Hey friends, and welcome back to A Simple Truth. Nehemiah, finishing it up today, uh, 11 through 13, and also Psalm 126. Now, if you remember, we've been looking at the rebuilding of the wall. Uh, we've seen a bunch of, um, I guess, resistance is maybe a nice way to put that. Um, we looked at the Feast of Tabernacles yesterday, uh, Confession of Sins, Sealing of the Covenant. Uh, today, um, within this, we're going to be looking at uh, the people inside Jerusalem, outside Jerusalem. Uh, Nehemiah dedicates the wall, temple responsibilities, uh, the reforms in Nehemiah, um, and then a psalm of happiness when we remain, uh, when when we're relying, excuse me, uh, on the Lord. So all of that in Nehemiah 11 through 13, and then Psalm 126. So chapter 11. Now the leaders of the people dwelt at Jerusalem. The rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine-tenths were to dwell in other cities. And the people blessed all the men who willingly offered themselves to dwell at Jerusalem. These are the heads of the province who, li who dwelt in Jerusalem. But in the cities of Judah, everyone dwelt in his own possession in their cities. Israelites, priests, Levites, Nethanim, and descendants of Solomon's servants. Also in Jerusalem dwelt some of the children of Judah and of the children of Benjamin. The children of Judah, Athahiah, the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephathiah, the son of Mahaliel, the son of Perez, the son of Messiah, the son of Baruch, the son of Kol Hose, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Jorib, the son of Zechariah, the son of Shiloni, all the sons of Perez who dwelt at Jerusalem were 468 valiant men. And these are the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Jored, the son of Pediah, the son of Kaliah, the son of Messiah, the son of Ethiel, the son of Jeshiah, and after him, Gabai and Salai, 928. Joel, the son of Zikri, was their overseer, and Judah, the son of Senua, was second over the city. Of the priests, Jehaida, the son of Joarib, and Jachin, Sarariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Marioth, the son of Ahitob, the leader of the house of God. Their brethren who did the work of the house were 822, and Adaliah, the son of Jehoham, the son of Petaliah, the son of Amz Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pasher, the son of Malchijah, and his brethren, heads of the father's houses, were 242. And Amishai, the son of Azrael, the son of Ahazi, the son of Meshulamoth, the son of Immer, and their brethren, mighty men of valor, were 128. Their overseer, their overseer was Zabdil, the son of one of the great men. Also, of the Levites, Shemaiah, Shemaiah the son of Hashtub, the son of Azrikim, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, Shibathai and Josabad of the heads of the Levites had the oversight of the business outside of the house of God. Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, the leader who had begun thanksgiving with prayer, Bakbukiah, excuse me, uh, the second among his brethren, Abda, the son of Shemua, the son of Galal, the son of Jedathan. All the Levites in the holy city were 284. Moreover, the gatekeepers, Akab, Talman, and their brethren who kept the gates were 172, and the rest of Israel, of the priests and Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, everyone in his inheritance. But the Nethanim dwelt in Ophel, and Ziha and Gishba were over the Nethanim. Also, the overseer of the Levites at Jerusalem was Uzi, the son of Benai, the son of Hashbiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micah, the sons of Asaph, the singers in charge of the service of the house of God. For it was the king's command concerning them that a certain portion should be for the singers, a quota, quota day by day. Pethaliah, the son of Mes Meshazabel, the children of Zariah, the son of Judah, was the king's deputy in all manners concerning the people. And as for the villagers with their fields, some of the children of Judah dwelt in Kirjath, Kirjath Arba and its villages, Dibon and its villages, Jechabazil and its villages, and Jeshua, Molda, Beth Palet, Hazar, Shual, and Beersheba and its villages, in Ziklag and Mikona and its villages, in Enrimon, Zora, Jarmuth, Zanoa, Adulam and their villages, in Lachish and its villages, in Azaka and its villages, 
they dwelt from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. Also, the children of Benjamin from Geba dwelt in Michmash, Ijah, Bethel, and their villages, in Anathoth, Nob, Anathiah, in Hazor, Ramah, Gittim, in Hadid, Zeboim, Nabalat, in Lod, Ono, in the valley of the craftsmen. Some of the Judean divisions of Levites were in Benjamin. Chapter 12. Now, these are the priests and the Levites who came up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shelatiel and Jeshua, Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Merimoth, Edo, Ginnathoi, Ab Abijah, uh, Majamin, Medea, Bilga, Shemamiah, Joriab, Jedidiah, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, and Jediah. These were the heads of the pri priests and their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites were Jeshua, Benui, Kidmiel, Shereba, Judah, and Mataniah, who led the Thanksgiving Psalms, he and his brethren. Also, also, Bakbukiah and Uni, their brethren, stood across from them in their duties. Jeshua begot Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim begot Elishib, Elishib begot, begot Jehoiada, Jehoiada begot Jonathan, and Jonathan begot Judah, Jedua. Now, in the days of Jehoiakim, the priests, the heads of the fathers' houses, were of Sarariah, Merariah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Mishalom, of Amariah, Jehonan of Melichu, Jonathan of Shebaniah, Joseph of Harim, Ada, Adna of Merimoth, Helkai of Edo, Zechariah of Ginnathon, Meshulam of Abijah, Zikri, the son of Minajamin of Medoya, Petalia of Big Bilga, Shemua of Shemamiah, Jehonan, Jehonathan, <laughs> Jehonathan of Jorib, Matanai, of Jedidiah, Uzi, of Salai, Kalai, of Amok, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashbiah, and of Jedidiah, Nathaniel. During the reign of Darius, the Persian, a record was also kept of the Levites and priests who had been heads of their father's houses in the days of Elisha, Jehoiada, Jehonan, and Jehud, Jedua, the sons of Levi, the heads of their father's houses, until the days of Jehonan, the son of Elisha, were written in the book of the Chronicles. And the heads of the Levites were Hashbiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua, the son of Kidmiel, with their brothers across from them, to praise and give thanks, group alternating with group, according to the command of David, the man of God. Mataniah, Bakbukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talman, and Achab were gatekeepers, keeping the watch at the storerooms of the gates. These lived in the days of Jeho Jehoiakim, the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, in the days of Nehemiah, the governor, and of Ezra, the priest, the scribe. Now, at the de dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgivings and singing, with cymbals and stringed instruments and harps, and the sons of the singers gathered together from the countryside around Jerusalem, from the villages of the Nephethites, from the house of Gilgal, and from the fields of Geba and Asmaveth. As, as For the singers had built themselves villages all around Jerusalem. Then the priests and the Levites purified themselves and purified the people, the gates and the wall. So I brought the leaders of Judah up on the wall and appointed two large thanksgiving choirs, one went to the right hand on the wall towards the refuse gate. After them went Hoshiah and the leaders of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, Meshulam, Judah, Benjamin, Sheremiah, Jeremiah, and some of the priest's sons with trumpets. Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemamiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Machiah, the son of Zachur, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemamiah, Azrael, Melali, Gilali, May, Nithaniel, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God. And Ezra, the scribe, went before them. By the fountain gate in front of them, they went up at the stairs of the city of David, on the stairwell of the wall, beyond the house of David, as far as the water gate eastward. The other Thanksgiving choir went the opposite way, and I was behind them with half the people on the wall, going past the tower of the ovens as far as the broad wall, and above the gate of Ephraim, above the old gate, above the fish gate, the tower of Hananiel, the tower of the hundred, as far as the sheep gate, 
and they stopped by the gate of the prison. So, the two thanksgiving choirs stood in the house of God. Likewise, I and half the rulers with me, and the priests, Elikim, Masiah, Minjamin, Melechiah, Elioni, Zechariah, and Hananiah, with the trumpets. Also, Masiah, Shemamiah, Eleazar, Uzi, Jehohan, Jehonahan, uh, Melchijah, Elam, and Ezer. The singers sang loudly with Jer Jezariah, the director. Also, that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and the children also rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard afar off. And at the same time, some were appointed over the rooms of the storehouse for the offerings, the first fruits, and the tithes to gather into the into them from the fields of the cities, the portions specified by the law for the priests and the Levites. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and the Levites who ministered. Both the singers and the gatekeepers kept the charge of their, of their God and their charge of the purification according to the command of Daniel and Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old, there were chiefs of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel and the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave the portions for the singers and the gatekeepers, a portion for each day. They also consecrated holy things for the Levites, and the Levites consecrated them for the children of Aaron. Chapter 13. On that day, they read from the book of Moses and the hearing of the people. And in it was found written that no Ammonite or Moabite should ever come into the assembly of God because they had not met with the children of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. So it was, when they had heard the law, that they separated all the mixed multitude from Israel. Now, before this, Eliashib, the priest, having authority over the storerooms of the house of our God, was allied with Tobiah. And he had prepared for him a large room, where previously there had stored the grain offerings, the frankincense, the articles, the tithes of grain, the new wine and oil, which were commanded to be given to the Levites and singers and gatekeepers, and the offerings for the priests. But during all this I was not in Jerusalem, for in the thirty-second year of Eretaxus, king of Babylon, I had returned to the king. Then after certain days I obtained leave from the king, and I came to Jerusalem and discovered the evil that Eliashib had done for Tobiah in preparing a room for him in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me bitterly. Therefore, I threw out all the household goods of Tobiah out of the room. Then I commanded them to cleanse the rooms, and I brought back into them the articles of the house of God with grain offering and frankincense. I also realized that the portions for the Levites had not been given them, for each of the Levites and the singers who did the work had gone back to his field. So I contended with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then all Judah brought the tithe of the grain and the new wine and the oil to the storehouse. And I appointed the treasuries over the storehouse, Shalemiah the priest, and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites, Pediah. And next to him was Hanan, the son of Zakur, the son of Mataniah, for they were considered faithful, and their task was to distribute to their brethren. Remember me, O my God, concerning this, and do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for its services. In those days I saw people in Judah trading wine presses on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and loading donkeys with wine, grapes, figs, and all kinds of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I warned them about the day on which they were selling provisions. Men of Tyre dwelt there also, who brought in fish and all kinds of goods and sold them on the Sabbath to the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What evil thing is this that you do by which you profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers do this and did not, and did not God bring all this disaster on us and on this city? Yet you added wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. So it was at the gates of Jerusalem as it began to be dark before the Sabbath that I commanded the gates to be shut and I charged that they must not be opened till after the Sabbath. Then I posted some of my servants at the gates so that no burdens would be brought into the Sabbath day. Now, the merchants and the sellers of all kinds of wares logged, lodged outside Jerusalem once or twice. Then I warned them and said to them, Why do you spend the night around the wall? If you do so again, I will lay my hands on you. From that time on, they came no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should be on be good and that they should go and guard the gates to sanctify the sabbath day 
Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. In those days I also saw Jews who had married women of Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab, and half their children spoke the language of Ashdod, and could not speak the language of Judah, but spoke according to the language of one or other one or the other people. So I contended with them, and cursed them, and struck some of them, and pulled out their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, You shall not give your daughters as wives to their sons, or take their daughters for your sons, or yourselves. Do not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by doing these things. Yet among many nations there was no king like him, who was beloved by his God, and God made him king over, over all Israel. Nevertheless, pagan women caused him to sin." Should we then hear of your doing all this great evil, transgressing against our God by marrying pagan women? And one of the sons of Joiada, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was a son-in-law of Sanballat, the Horonite. Therefore, I drove him from me. Remember them, O my God, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priests, priesthood and the Levites. Thus, I cleanse them of everything pagan, and I assign duties to the priests and to the Levites, each to his service, and to bringing the wood offering and the first fruits at the appointed times. Remember me, O oh my God, for good. All right, that was Nehemiah and Psalm 126. I think that's what I had on here. When the Lord brought back captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. When our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing, then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them and the Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaths with him. So more names on there. I, uh, yeah, they are my, my arch nemesis. Uh, looking at this and all the temple responsibilities, um, I think I was struck with just how that's kind of our, our service to the church today is how should we be responding? Um, and, and it seems like we should be responding by recognizing a role that needs to be filled um, and, and filling in that role and, and doing so... Um, doing so lovingly and graciously and not begrudgingly. Um, obviously, you probably want to lean into your gifts, right? If it is uh, giving, then give of your time and give generously. Um, and if it is uh, if it is maybe giving financially, if it is um, whatever that strength is, whatever that gifting is, uh, using that gift to serve God, his people, um, his church, and then also branching outside of that and then giving to the community and being a light outside of that. So those are our uh, our duties. So anyway, that is uh, what struck with me. I thought that was super cool. As always, friends, thanks so much for joining and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you.